Hey guys, welcome to this channel. We have seen in the earlier session what is security hub and the uses of security hub. So, if you have not seen that video yet, then please go and watch it first because today's session will be completely based on the practical part of security hub. We will gonna see how actually security hub works and how we can enable and disable it. You can watch theory part by clicking on the I button given above. So now let's go to the AWS management console. Now let's see how to use AWS security hub. So first of all go to the services and let's search for security hub. So this is my AWS security hub dashboard and these are the some kind of point that I have discussed written over here in brief all the benefit and everything written over here. Now initially for 30 day you will get a trial period and based upon that whatever you will gonna use you will get charge for that like a uh, pay as you go mode right the pricing in usd for first hundred thousand uh, check it's nearby 0 0.0010 then we have different checks uh, there is a reduce in the amount as well and above 500,000 you will be charged like 0 0.0005 dollar so first 10,000 it's free so now let's go to security hub so click on that because this is my new account and I have not used security hub with this particular account enabling security hub grants it permission to conduct security check this will going to create an SLR with following services used to conduct security check like uh, CloudWatch, SNS, Config and CloudTrail three level of check that we have uh, AWS foundation security based practices version 1.0.0 CIS AWS benchmark uh, version 1.2.0 and enable PCI DSS version 3.2.1 integration that we have uh, as per the diagram it's uh, guard duty inspector messy access analyzer and firewall manager so let's take all and enable security hub so now this will going to take a bit of time to grab all the details okay so AWS foundation security best practices standard is a set of all these things that I have listed in the part one now let's enable the standard as of now my account is new I don't have much resources built on this particular account but still I'll gonna wait to check if it finds something from my VPC or submits so wait for results to come so this has done with collecting all the data a consolidated view with the different tool we are using the integrated and like guard duty, inspector, analyzer and other different tool. As I say, this is a new account and I have not much resources uh, within this particular AWS account. So let's review what are the findings that uh, we have received from the initial scaling. Uh, one of the AWS resources has been scaled and the rest are zero. On the right hand side, 
latest finding from AWS integration. Guard duty, we don't have anything. Inspector, again, no finding. Messy, we don't have any finding. Let's scroll down a bit. So, these are the security standard that they have. We have the three foundation and as we don't have any resources, that's why nothing has been checked around. Let's scroll down a little bit. New finding over time by period which is my S3 bucket and you can see this will going to scan my EC2 instance as well IAM user AMI and account with the most recent findings. Now let's go to the finding section on the left. So this is a medium priority issue which is new and it is an AWS companies from IAM access analyzer and this is my bucket so let's click on this let's see the detail so severity original is 14 plus so this is a medium level of security you can see the type effect data exposure external access granted resources resources type is aws s3 bucket and with the resources and remediation we are getting same remediation as well let's go to security hub again there are few things that we can check around let's go to security standard you can disable this particular check if you go to the view result section so what are the status or what are the check this will be going to do in background you can see all high critical medium priority issue is listed over here now integration you will gonna see all the integration resources like firewall manager access analyzer guard duty detective is another new service from amazon so all this can done with the help of security hub now to disable it what you have to do go to the setting now again you can add multiple account now if you go to the general setting there is a something called disable aws security hub I'm gonna simply disable security hub because I'm not going to use this so let disable it so that's it guys for this particular session thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful then like and share this video to your friend and subscribe this channel to stay tuned for further AWS technical videos bye and have a nice day